Beautiful. Welcome to the Chesterfield South. Oh. Changing 500. Come all the way to Atlantic City just to see your mugs, huh? Twice in one week. For someone who don't play, spend a lot of time in card rooms. This is what I like to see, huh? Mike McDermott where he belongs. Sitting with the scumbags, telling jokes, dragging the occasional pot. Occasional? <laughs> yeah, like my ex-wife occasionally went out with other men. You got her face. Oh. I was actually gonna try and make some uh, real money tonight, but in honor of Mike's alley-like return to the ring, I'll sit with you all for a while. Hey, don't do us any favors, Kanish. I'm about to go to the board to fill these seats. Better. <sighs> I raise. Hey, you know, if we wanted to take each other's roles, we could have just stayed home. These two have no idea what they're about to walk into. Down here to have a good time, they figure, why not give poker a try? After all, how different can it be from the home games they've played their whole lives? All the luck in the world isn't gonna change things for these guys. They're simply overmatched. We're not playing together, but then again, we're not playing against each other either. It's like the nature channel. You don't see piranhas eating each other, do you? They wear their tails like signs around their necks. Facial tics, nervous fingers, a hand over a mouth, the way a cigarette is smoked. Little unconscious gestures that reveal the cards in their hands. We catch everything. If a fish acts strong, he's bluffing. If he acts meek, he's got a hand. It's that simple. Okay, I'm ready. Right. I'm right. I'm right. uh, what's the limit here? That's $20. Good, okay. It's 20 You've seen half the hand. How the hell are you betting into us? We know what we're holding, and we know what you're holding. The hell you know what we all have. <laughs>